Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Gears Columbus Charity Invitational where we have Ghost Gaming getting ready to go up against Rise Nation in a rematch of Toronto just one week ago. The difference, this guy's back, identifies himself. Actually, Dennis, I'm going to start with you. You just saw your old teammate, King Choche himself, go big on stage. What does it mean for you to see him in that moment? I'm actually, can I say the words in Spanish? Yeah, Is that okay? Okay. Uh, yo, la verdad, estoy muy este, feliz por verlos a ellos. Yo, como siempre he dicho, respeto mucho. Ya saben que México siempre para siempre. Vamos de estar representándolo como siempre estoy muy feliz por ellos y que estén ahorita quieran o no ganando un top mejor y haciendo lo mejor me da mucho gusto porque quieran o no es nuestra región y ver que están improving en otro lado es muy 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 chingón están jugando como equipo y se lo merecen so while I have absolutely no idea what you just said, I love it. I want to ask you, though, Choche, you got a lot of respect for him. I know you do. People call him King Choche. Is he the real king of Mexico, or who is? Look, at this moment, you guys can call him king, bro. <laughs> They've been going up. I like, I like that answer. He deserves it, bro. I respect that tremendously. How about you guys? I know you didn't have a chance to go to Toronto for various reasons. You're back here today. How do you feel about this Ghost roster at this event? Uh, it's just like I've been telling you, like we just we've been playing our game. We just now we be chilling, uh, playing gone. We know the second day is gonna be more rough than the first one, so we just need to keep our same way, our same hype, and we just gonna be good. We just are confident of each other, and we just gonna turn off this event. And I, I like that one thing you mentioned is being able to kind of keep your calm, keep your head straight. Uh, talk, talking about like, what is it like being in the Ghost? gaming comms. I know it's crazy. We hear the listenings. It's, it's kind of fun to listen to. Uh, but talk to me a little bit about that and, and kind of break down the psyche, the, the mentality of Ghost Gaming. I don't know. Like, we have five players. Uh, usually we have three players, more than five. Like, Resi gets so hype in land, so it's just like kind of we have four. <laughs> but like, we just like, people say that we have sound all the time hectic, but I swear to God, when we are screaming, when we talking to each other with a certain passion, we just like feel like we're playing our, at our best. Like, but obviously, I agree with what you're saying. We should be to the same time calm at the same time. But we just gonna get better, like, like we be doing it. Yeah, I, I actually really respect that. It's good to have that insight because a lot of people think it's hectic, but at the end of the day, you guys are all locked in, you're zoned in, and sometimes people mistake in that. It's great insight. Kind of like the Insanes versus Infinity and Listenings back in the day. I'm going to come over to you, Powers. You have burst onto this scene as soon as you turned 16 years old, and everyone here knows how, how strong an individual player you are, but everyone faces adversity in their career. When you got replaced on, on the Echo Fox, former Echo Fox roster, what did that mean to you, and how did you take it, and what's your mentality now? I mean, to be honest, the way I took it, I was kind of upset that I got dropped, but I just got to keep moving forward. I got to keep doing, you know, things for myself. Like, I just got to keep improving, keep getting better, just keep doing me. I respect that tremendously. How about the new Rise Nation roster? I know in Toronto last week we talked about it. You guys lost to Ghost Gaming without identives. What's different about this Rise Nation roster today in this event? I mean, it's way different. We're coming a lot, like, way more positive, a lot stronger um, coming in our matches, and we're just confident every match we play. Power 16 years old. You waited for this moment. You waited for this chance, and everyone knew you'd be a star. I, I knew you'd be a star when I saw you at the NYC Microsoft Store local uh, about a year and a half ago. What does it mean to you uh, to kind of be in the position that you're in, and really people respecting you as a, maybe a top five, top ten player in the game? And do you have any advice for any aspiring young players out there that are looking to do the same? I mean, you just got to keep going, bro. You just got to keep practicing, working on your craft, and then one day, like, it's just going to get to you. Like, you, just, you know, go to little local lands and stuff like that. I love it. Go to local lands, put the work in, and good things will result. This guy right here is a good example of that. I remember watching this guy when he was a young man himself. That's going to be it for us on the main stage. we got Ghost Gaming versus Rise Nation. Lock it up, boys, and let's get ready for a tremendous match. I've been through a lot through Gears, like working 84 hours in UE, being homeless uh, for five months, stuff like that, but I want people to know that you can make it. I'm still here. Uh, I live a comfortable life. I appreciate a, uh, what a lot of people do for me in the community and my uh, my goonies. Like I appreciate them a lot. I got a lot of respect for them. All right, coming up with the next game of the day. I'm your host Bailey, and I'm here with the one and only Ribs Momo, and my man Colin. But I have a question at the top of your head right now. This matchup, Ghost Gaming or Rise Nation? Who do you have? Ghost Gaming. Yeah. After that fire and really ice squad. One. No, I'm going Ghost. Ghost I, I'm so confident. I'm a bit of a Ghost fanboy until it comes to the grand final in any gears. I don't know why. I just love watching Ghost Gaming. They're so entertaining. Hey. Right. It's, it's just it's fun. Uh, but I want a close match. I don't want Ghost to run over them. That's boring. Right. So the the. 
theory behind it, I mean, the meaning behind that is that Rise Nation, okay, now you're looking at a team, they've made power plays when it comes to free agency. They picked up Powers, they picked up Jerpy, they picked up Detox, and the whole goal behind all of those transactions are to compete with the best. So now, by picking up Powers as your latest Ross move, they were hoping to really bring that fire that he had with Echo Fox, who are now Fury, to go ahead and match up against these top teams. Do you think Powers is enough and Rise Nation can actually make this an even game? With the addition of powers, you have a guy that can fly around the map and get a lot of kills quickly. But do you know who does that better than any other team right now in the game? Ghost Gaming. They live up to their organization's title. They're almost like apparitions. They're shadows. They're here one second, they're gone the next. They kill you, they move on with life. They continue on their mission of complete obliteration of the opposing team. They get in your face, they hit you harder than any other team, and they continue moving forward. That's why I love Ghost in this matchup. Ryze has continually built the roster to be a little bit faster, a little bit more slay heavy. Next thing you know, they're coming up against a team that does it better than they do, faster than them, slay heavier than them. And I'm happy you brought that up. Now, when you take a look at Rise Nation's roster, do you really want to play hot and heavy against Ghost Gaming, or do you want to step back and let players like Jerp and Drix really take the reins and, you know, cause Lancer Fire to really slow down Ghost Gaming's attack? Uh, you don't want to change up your game plan too much. You know, okay. you saw that yesterday with Hive losing a Fire and Ice, and even Simplicity today, and that's, that's what teams like Fire and Ice need. So, you know, now you see... Uh, you, you have to do what you do. It's, it's simple. Rise has to just be better. You know you know for a fact that Ghost Gaming is better slayers, better power weapon players, but if Rise just step up to the occasion and they play their game, it's like Colin said, Rise might not be the better version of this type of team, but they can be today. Yeah, they can be better today. That's the thing. And, you know, if you get better, you kind of overcome those steps and hurdles. Sometimes it's that name in front of you. You know, you see the, the duo, uh, you know, from Ghost kind of just pushing you like, I don't want to face that. But if it was a different duo, you'd be like, yeah, let's get it. Right. And you just got to play your own game. I like that uh, from what Rib said. I think you, you've got to stay true to yourself. But it's going to be interesting. Uh, yes, and Rise Nation are playing for a great cause here this week. And the charity organization that they're backing will be Children's Miracle Network or Extra Life. Extra Life is a fundraising program of Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, where if you're a gamer, you can register to help 170 children's hospitals in the United States and Canada. If you want to learn more, make sure you go to extra-life.org. So, Colin, what are your gut feelings about this matchup? How's it going to turn out? I think Rise is going to live like Frank Sinatra. They're going to go down doing it my way. They're going to try to outslay with him, and it's not going to happen. Hey, I'm really interested to see what's going on, but on Ghost Gaming side, you know this team better than anybody. You've played with these guys before. Reshi, Speedy, now Rezik. What is Ghost Gaming really going to bring to this matchup? Well, they just know how they want to play. You know, they they just have their identity. They know identity yeah. is going to play very smart. He's going to play the home hill. He's going to play aggressive when he needs to, and then you're going to have Speedy with his power weapons, you know, sleepy time, staying consistent. Rise is still finding themselves, and that's really yeah. what makes the difference in this yeah. matchup. Ghost is just comfortable. They just got done beating Rise with, with a sub. It's, it's looking bad, but once again, today is today, and we'll have to see how Rise comes out. All right, and taking a look at the map bands and picks, we're going to kick things off right here on Old Town. Forge Bliss will be the second map, and if needed, we'll go to Harbor for the tiebreaker game. Now, talking about Old Town, which team do you really think has the advantage coming from Ghost Gaming? Do you think their aggressive style of gameplay really will reign king in this matchup? Every time they spawn up top, I expect that round to be quick. You get the height advantage, you may get an extra Lancer bullet in by Sleepy Time, or Reza get somebody a little team fire. And then Speedy's and Russia, you're going to be in your face with the uppercut knocking you on the mat. All right, Colin, let's see if you're ready for this. We're going to kick things off on map number one, Old Town, an old school favorite of Gears of War. So Momo and Colin, take it away. Colin, I know you're ready. I'm always ready, always. You've been waiting for this for a while. Shaking, baby. I'm out here shaking. I'm so excited. It is. Uh, it's exciting times for sure. And, of course, we're getting some real, real good games coming up. Of course, I think pretty much every game, every game now is on the main stage for you guys. We've got semifinals, grand finals. But we are going to kick it off right now with, uh, with our last one of uh, the day of the quarters. Of course, Rice and Ghost Game. And Rice, a very, very tough ass. But going into Old Town. Veli kind of touching it before, obviously, a new map to the rotation. Rise Nation, Ghost Gaming, maybe this is where they kind of ca catch them out by surprise. They're going to have to do something because you see here, both teams are mirroring each other. One member each to their home hill, and then two members to the middle, two members to the right. But immediately, Rushies was already in Detox's face before I could blink. Apexis with a little bit of a misroll right there. He's going to get taken out by Speedy. So Ghost Gaming already taking out four members of Rise within the first 10 seconds of the map. Yeah, well, important initials, as always. Obviously, the respawn are very, very low. And I always recap, if you guys are new to Gears of War, it's simple. Top left is your scoreboard, and you want to get to 210. Seven rounds is the way 
play to win and if you get to 210 you get one round on the board it can go back and forth it's a long brawl however rise nation ghost gaming this is round number one map number one and ghost gaming they have that advantage two hills and a little bit of a lead we're talking 10 15 seconds but on your screen identities that lancer fire coming in across there teaming up with speedies as well drinks in a bit of trouble Powers is down in that middle. Look at that Sleepy with a great rotation. He comes all the way from the left side of the map, gets up into the middle market area, cleans up Powers. So you know one of their best slayers is out of the matchup right now. You got a few more seconds before you come off spawn. But Sleepy is going to get angled out here in the marketplace. They're going to send Drix to try to clean him up. Can the Lancer Fire prevent it, though? It will not. Drix will get that cleanup. He'll take the position in the market right there in the middle. What they're trying to do is get a setup here right in that middle market to where you can bring a player from the top half of the map, try to get in their face, and that extra Lancer fire, that's a great angle that you can get in there, shoot your Lancer, get a lot of damage, and then an easy chunk comes. Powers and Avex, he's there doubling up, finding two, as three players now on timers for Ghost Gaming. And as they push around, Rezik tried a little bit of a sneaky play, but Avex, he's too quick for that one. He's actually going to roll and dip out of that. He's going to find himself another one here, pushing on to C. Damage has been dealt, but he's actually going to go down as Rushies, who picks him up now, and the bobbin and weaving starts. Rise Nation will take the two hill lead, but they are down by around 30 points. I heard earlier they were talking about using another team's skin to troll the opposing player. Rushies is actually using a character you almost never ever see in the game of Versus. He's using the Palace Guard. Barely anybody on the planet uses him because he's so massive, it's easy to spot him out. That's a bit of a troll by Rushies. Rushies clearly confident. Uh, and I can see why, by all means, but that's one thing that you never want to do is be overconfident in, in any type of match because you've got to give the credit and the respect to, to Rise Nation. All five names on the left-hand side there, fantastic plays in their own right. So yes, Ghost Gaming is the favorite. There's always going to be a favorite up, favorite in two matches, but Avexis with a double doesn't find the triple of speed. He shuts him down. But look at the scoreboard. So, so close. Two hills to Rise Nation. They have the players, and they also have the hills. The numbers. C has been decapped from Rise Nation coming out super hot here. And Jerpy finalized an idea that could be the end of the game maybe not by numbers or hills but inevitably rise nation they are looking so so strong and maybe a bit of a shock for ghost gaming did not expect that one colin i don't think anybody expected it but they did an amazing job of mid-round rotations in that one i love how even though ghost heavily won the initial fights rise learned what they needed to do by rotating different members around the map getting the fights they want not the fights that they have to take and when you get the fights you want you're a little bit more comfortable you're a little bit more confident you might get an extra shot in or two you might hit your shots a little better get some kills right there mid-round which allow your rotations to pay off for you well five kills to his name already is a vexies four for jerpy but we do the side of thing identities yet to get on the scoreboard we've actually seen the torque dropped up top here Thoughts on the weapon drop from Ghost Gaming? Any any kind of inside information you, that you can think behind that? Uh, I really love I really love the torque bow in a guy like Speedy's hand. If they can get that torque bow into his hand, he's a good power weapon player all around, and he's going to try to win this early fight. He does break ice, so he's going to get that first kill of the round. And now they got a two v one situation, but Rushman goes down. Rushies gets picked back up by his teammate, and look at that Speedy immediately over to pick up the torque bow. Now he's got to pick that weapon up and try to use it to pick off a player across the map. You rev it up, you get it to where it'll stick your opponent just like that. Powers, though, too smart for him. Takes cover just in time. Nicely done by Powers there. However, Ghost Gaming do have that hill control. You see the rotation winning from Powers. Powers actually going to go down. Avexi's, sorry, Jerpy having to come back and pick him up. But this time around, he is going to survive. But how long, I'm not sure. Powers finding one, and he was full red as well there. We're going to see Sleepy put two in the ground. and move on swiftly here a and b both in the control of ghost gaming on your screens of x he's already six kills and pushing on he's looking at b now trying to take this re he's trying to take this back should i say and they've already got speedy over there with the torque bow they're going to rotate another member over you see the smokes coming out the stuns and now they're going to push their advantage they know that they got some stuns out there they might be able to get some damage but a third member of ghost gaming that's a great mid round rotation playing a little defense right here and now sleepy is going to be the man that leads the charge to try to get this secondary down they do get it drix will go down powers left by himself we know that powers is there because of that x-ray but i don't think ghost had any idea we could see him because of his outline but he has no outline on the opposing team's um mini map right there on the vision so they didn't have any idea that's why he could be so sneaky get that first kill run past him and now he's in a true 2v1 situation around a pillar trying to use that movement trying to show off Avexis gets one, Avexis gets the second. Powers gets out of that by pure teamwork, rotation, and his ability to survive that encounter. Lovely stuff, and like you said, obviously in regards to the x-rays, we've got our uh, drivers in the back as well, observing the game. Shout out to those guys. 
awesome stuff as always. You see Powers just backing off here, just waiting for the next play. Uh, but uh, Ghost Gaming, they do have a, a little bit of a cushion here just to play around with. You want to make sure you're utilizing this, but Identive's rolling around back and forward. Resic, a play which I'm really actually interested to see a little bit more of. We saw him yesterday doing incredible, incredible things. We see keen to see what he can do today here against Rise Nation. I think Rezik is a really momentum player. If you can keep him down early in maps, you can actually use him to your advantage because he doesn't play with the same level of confidence. You have to keep Rezik from getting his feet under him. If Rezik can kind of be sneaky right here, go into that bell tower, maybe win a 1v1, maybe stop somebody from coming up through market, you're going to see him start to lift his head, puff out his chest, and get more kills later on in the rounds. But they see the push by Avexis. He gets triple Lancer. Howes is going to answer back there with a double himself. And Identive's going down. Speedy trying to level the playing field here. But you see the timer ticking away. One hill will do it. But will they have a hill? That's the question. 205 and stopped in their tracks here. My goodness, goes Gaming. We say goodnight to them for this round. And they were so, so close. That is what you want to see here if you're a Rise Nation fan. Ghost can't play defense like that. That's not their game plan. We talked earlier that Rise has to continue to stick to their guns, play their type of Gears of War. And then all of a sudden, on the opposite side of the, the stage, Ghost Gaming decides, hey, look, we've got a point advantage. Let's play our one hill. Let's play a different style than we normally anybody ever sees us play and see if we can catch them off guard. Rise Nation made the right rotation. They made the correct push with numbers. Next thing you know, one, two, three, four people dead. Speedy left all by himself, and he is just not enough to take out five. Two rounds in, Identive's just one kill to his name. We do see a, a sniper dropped as well on Old Town here, and it's more towards the market. So, talk up top, sniper in the middle. Interested to see when goes gaming really kind of start to ramp this up because we, we both know, everyone knows what they have, what they're capable of. When are we going to see it though? Because Rise Nation right now, they're looking pretty strong here and they're, they're looking to play championship Sunday. They would love to win this matchup and go up against Fury, a team that just won on side station. So now what you're seeing is Rise is playing with all the confidence. They feel like they've got nothing to lose. Everybody's picked Ghost Gaming. Nobody picked us. We ain't got nothing to lose. Let's go out there, put it all on the line. Powers trying to be the man to start it off. He gets the first. He's going to let his health get back. Big back A. Back A, take that cover. You come off it, pressing down on your left analog, pulling that trigger, trying to get that shot straight on your opponent. Next thing you know, easy kill. Just like that, Ghost Gaming on the back foot once again here. Rushies, I think, at the start of the, uh, the round, has made a team kill onto Speedy or vice versa. Either way, not good. And this is where you really start to wonder, you know, what's going on. And don't get me wrong, they are not out of this yet. But these first three rounds, Rise Nation have been looking so, so strong. Rushies on your screen, though, trying to find another. Rushy. Back, oh my goodness, was that the sniper from the middle? I'm not too Big sure, body but shot. huge body shot taking him down. Identive's doing what he does best though. A little bit of the side roll right there. Gets a beautiful headshot as he does. And now he's going to see that he has one member in front of him. I think he caught a little eyesight of Powers. He's trying to assess his situation. Speedy over there as well. So I think they know they have one guy that might be able to contest. But Rise right here is going to do what they did last round. I like this. They're going to set up. They're doing a little powwow, a little bit of a huddle. Getting their forces off spawn, getting together, trying to make up a game plan. Because when you push into Ghost, you got to figure out where the weak point of this defense is. And Powers still has that sniper in his hand. Look for him to try to break ice with that snipe, maybe get a headshot. Time ticking away here. Two hills for Ghost Gaming. That meant absolutely nothing in round number two. Will it affect this? Look at the push down bell tower right now. Identity is going to have nobody near him. As they're pushing through the middle, it's all going down in the market. Resic does find one. Resic finds the second as well. Can he find the third? Resic deals with the job there. And now he starts to push forward. This is where he gets dangerous for a Rise Nation. Rezik's going to start feeling confident. Powers is over there. He's got the sniper out. He tried to get an easy headshot if somebody came around the corner. But now Rezik going to barrel down on Jerpy in this close encounter hallway. Jerpy, that's a big fight for him to win. He knows he's going to be solidified, though, because there's three members of Ghost Gaming trying to push the wall in behind him. It's like the ceiling is collapsing. Rushes with the break. A little bit of a threatening three cap, but he's going to back up as the smokes come in and the stuns come out. All right, I see a little bit of a flank down there from one player for Rise Nation, maybe looking towards B. He's going to decap this one, and then Rushy's just going to try and find one player who's going to turn around and find him. Doesn't close it out, though. And this is normally where you see Rushy's just shut down any type of player, but he's actually running away, backing down. And the wise thing to do, don't get me wrong, Rushy's actually found the sniper as well, but it just doesn't feel very ghost-like here. 
and they're not playing it, but Resnick has a beautiful headshot from Market. We didn't get to see it on stream. That player, Drix, who began to Lancer rushies to send him down into the marketplace, continued to stand straight up and gets a great headshot. Powers with his own headshot answering, so kills on both sides coming out, but all five members of Rise Nation are off spawn. They have time for one more push. They're gonna have to try to keep Ghost Gaming locked down and try to get a break on that sea hill because right now I believe Ghost Gaming can win off of one hill. Just like that, 188 will be enough with one hill here. A little bit too far for Rise Nation, but if they get a decap like they did previously here, we will be able to, of course, see them do it but it's counting away 200 and counting right now the two go down make it three and that is going to be for ghost gaming look at that an absolute destruction y y credit to rise they went for it but it's not going to pay off first round on the board for ghost gaming they played defense yet again ghost is learning how to play a little bit better defense learning how to set up that first round it fails horribly in their face the second round they get the numbers in the correct position they stop the initial push by rise nation and you saw four members die in quick succession Session. When you can stagger the deaths like that, it is a beautiful thing to see. Sometimes you don't ever see a team play defense. Right now, Ghost Gaming, two rounds in a row. Point and hill count, go to play defense. 18 second respawn delay here. We're getting into uh, the heavier side of those respawns. And this is where you gotta make those kills count as you see certain players hitting those double digits already. You got a block down at Bell Tower, but that's about it, nothing changing right now. So it's gonna be a fight for the sniper in middle. We saw, of course, what Rezik could do with it, but don't underestimate the likes of Powers. Powers most kills ever in a first land event down in New Orleans, and he's gonna to continue to try to keep that going for him, that mojo. He's gonna get pulled up on though by Sleepy Time. And now Power is sleepy in a big 1v1. Power just hurt though. Here comes Jerp. Beautiful rotation around the backside of that marketplace to help his teammate out, get that kill. And now Powers can rotate all the way left or right to give the next teammate help. That's great and beautiful teamwork. Painting a picture across the map of getting one member to the correct area, moving him to his teammate. Rotations coming in as well here. You can see just looking for the cover. The bottom side, obviously, a little bit of a disadvantage, but B now in the control of Ghost Gaming for a second. C going back to Rise Nation, as it should be, but two to one current score line. Looking to connect with the Snipe Rushies as well. Finds powers with that torque bow as well. There you go, Jerpy gets it down with that body shot, so Detox cleans him up easy. That torque bow still revving. Jerpy going for a headshot, he misses though. Rush is gonna get taken out, but not before he gets Detox. So now, Jerpy all by himself in a 2v1 situation against Sleepy and Identives. He went for the break, he's getting pistoled and lancered. He's gonna have to back out because he's gonna go down quite quickly and become a free 175 or free 100 on the ground. I say free 100 because the 50 points for the down, the 100 for the cleanup. Nicely done there, Rise Nation though, still in the lead here, two to one, but you see Ghost Gaming start to get into a little bit of a groove. Power shuts it down though, straight away two players are gonna drop through if he's coming off that spawn as well. Rushies, you can spot him a mile off, like you said, with that skin. Now a 1v1 in the tunnel. I'd say he sticks out like a sore thumb, but it's gold, so it's not really sore, there's no red on it. No, I, I definitely not, that's, it's something different for sure, but he sticks out, and when you see, you know, it's Rushies coming at you. Vex, he's looking to back off though, full red. Will have neutralized that and no points for Ghost Gaming as it currently stands. A looking to go back in favor for them, but look at that, Vex, he's just on the break here for a second. This is not good news for Ghost Gaming. Ghost is not getting any wasted. points. This is just a lot of time wasted right now and a lot of resources having to be put into one area. They are forcing them to use everything that they have to just get their home hill back. Vex, he's just lingering around, trying to get that angle here. Look at the kill feed though, two coming in. For Ghost Gaming, is this where they tie it? It looks tie it up, should I say? It looks like they're getting into that groove now, finding themselves. And again, we've seen Ghost Gaming play a lot of Gears of War, but on this map in particular, maybe a little bit less. Powers does connect with the body shot, but new to the pro circuit. That's why we haven't seen them on this map as much, and they yep. haven't had a lot of time to scrim. They've had some issues between San Diego and now, where they haven't had the correct practice schedule. But I was assured early on in this tournament by a few people on that team that they have felt more confident coming into this tournament because they did finally get a great schedule. But Powers, ladies and gentlemen, as Rezik tries to scurry away, gives them a haircut. Oof, you love to see it here. A very slow round, a little bit more slow pace, not crazy action, but uh, again, with these high respawns, this is maybe what you're gonna see people play their life a little bit. 
more careful identives in a dangerous spot here. Powers to take out, my goodness! You felt that go through like a thunderbolt and Powers, my goodness! This is why you pick up a player like Powers, an absolute beast here. Rise Nation pushing forward. However, the score favors Ghost Game in the hills, favor Rise Nation, and now Rise Nation, they're gonna decap A, A, A and take it over as well. And winning in the last second, I tell you what, Rise Nation, they're looking solid. If there weren't, if there wasn't at least one pog in the chat when that man hit the second headshot and then got that third kill, I'm a little disappointed with our viewers right now because that is a pog mode I ever seen one, ladies and gentlemen. He got two beautiful headshots. He's starting to get shot in the back by a Nasher. He rolls back, sees the player miss roll into his direction, gets that third big kill. That's a boulder roll situation. You can immediately push that advantage now. Beautifully, beautifully done here. 3-1, I tell you what, went into round five. I didn't think this would be the scoreline, Colin. No, not at all. 3-1, Rise Nation feeling themselves. That sniper rifle has really been the tail of the tape for them. Powers. Powers <laughs> continues to get the sniper. 18 and six already. Rush, he's trying to keep up with him. 16 and 10 on the opposite side of the map. So the big main slayers are doing their job. It's what's happening down the line. Your support players stepping up, getting the right rotations. Ladies and gentlemen, it's never just about the kills. Escalation is a oh, full yeah. five team fight. You need everybody carrying their weight. Nobody can have a backpack. How many kills did Powers drop once? Uh, in a single map, I think it was 42. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Powers an absolute powerhouse. No pun intended there, but uh, nevertheless. All pun intended. Don't, don't shy away from it, baby. <laughs> Let's jump back into the game. Sleepy with the double two on timers now for Ghost Gaming, but make that three for Rice Nation now. No points on the board uh, just yet, except Ghost Gaming. Those early eight now neutralized here. Sniper in the hands of Identive, so we'll see what he can do going forward with this. In the market, just looking around, rolling around, trying to find some players. You know, after how good that sniper rifle looked last round, I think Identive is feeling a little pressure to make some headshots happen. Yeah, and honestly, just take it away from the likes of Powers. You know, you don't want it in the hands of the opponent. At least take it for yourself. And this time, he's going to find something. Can he find more, though? That is the question. He's only got four kills. Now Adentive's, he has five. Uh, Dentive's got a kill right there with that sniper rifle. He cleans somebody's clock with it. But Power sneaks up behind him, picks up the sniper. He's got four rounds left. There's four dead, four ghost gaming. This is where you flood. You fly to that final hill if you're Rise Nation. You want a 4-1 lead after five rounds. You do not want to let them back into this at all. You got to put your foot on their throat and then press the gas. Yeah, this is a crucial round. You know, 3-2, you back in it. 4-1, you start to run away with it. We, we say it a lot, but it's really important to kind of drill that home here. But look at this. Oh, my goodness. Bloodbath it is an understatement. It's a massacre. It's like the Red Wedding all over again here, but round five is uh, not disappointed to say the least. The Vexy's the only one up here for Rise Nation. And Ghost Gaming will have another bite of the cherry, and they're pushing on to A. Hey, look, right now, Ghost Gaming would much rather kill a dozen men at dinner than a thousand men on the field of battle, as long as they win the war. You know what I'm saying? Here we go, Identives, he gets that break, which is smart. They are really down in points, but they didn't necessarily have the resources to go for a triple cap at that moment, because by the time they flew all the way to that home hill, got the decap, Rise Nation was gonna be coming off spawn. You're down by 80 points in this round. That is such a deficit that Rise Nation should know. As long as they can play defense for about a minute, they got it. Yeah, they need to hold strong though, but Ghost Game in there, they're a team that can just punch their way through defenses very, very easily on your screen is Rezik. See what he has to do about this one. Smoke's coming out, trying to get that sight lines broken. Chirpy, a lot of Lancer bullets. He gets that first down. Will he get the cleanup? He does, but he goes down for his troubles. Now Powers with a little bit of a down. Speedy trying to do something, but great torque bow by Speedy. Speedy right there watching his teammates back, gets the torque bow off, gets that stick in the kill to help save somebody. Detox now pushing forward. Getting aggressive, just tag him up once and look at that four down here for Rise Nation. This is not looking good. That's going to be a full five for a second. And hello, welcome, Ghost Gaming. It looks like they're finally turning up, and that could be the start of something special. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, baby. I'm going to tell you what happened. Denny, okay, pay attention to powers. He shot for like maybe two seconds. Got me, full red. Yeah, that's, and that's for me. Listen, Denny, that's your guy. Just make sure. And, and it's like you got, uh, and, then you, and then like, bro, you take your fucking time, bro. Like, uh, you guys are playing. Yeah, cat, there's no need for you to even push okay, me like that, bro. Right, yo, yo, stop. No, listen, stop the fucking complaining, though, bro. Let's focus. Oh, on and, 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 wait, 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 hold on, bro. Hold on. Yeah, bro, bro, I hate it. Bro, bro, bro. Listen, bro. You're complaining, bro. Stop. A little bit of mid-round 
uh, talk amongst Ghost Gaming, but that's a lot of communication and not all of it good, Momo. That no. sounds like there might be some problems on that half of the stage. Yeah, and you can you heard um, Sleep Time there. You know, let's stop the complaining and straight away. Whew, that riled a few feathers, let's say that. Uh, and leave it as that. Rise Nation, though, on the other hand, we've not had much time to hear them. Let's jump on board and hear the in-game comes with Rise Nation. Yeah, look, Melo, let's be on the team. Yo, my guy, my, my guy might be on the left. Yeah. Hey, where are you? Yeah. 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 Grab again, yep, yep, yep. I saved them, I saved them. Nice. Get to me. Get to both. Get, get, both. get both. Four dead still. Okay, four dead. I'm on my four last dead. time. I'm on my last okay, time. Okay, I'm on top of you, Vic. You want bow or you want to give it to me? It doesn't matter. If you want it, bro, just cap it, just cap it, just cap it. Just cap pills, cap pills, bro. I thought you should hold snipe. Got oh my god. Oh my god. I'll get to you. What you, what you see? You see uh, yeah. Everybody speak. I need to so take comps. that side. Take that little hammer shit. I'm going to go to the back of the side. You're hooking this real fast, Marco. It's just still today. All right, listen. I'm on the side. I'm on the side. Listen, listen, listen. I didn't hit him. I did not hit him. We're backing up. We're backing up. We're good. Picking up mid. I have our shock. You guys want to back up? We're backing up. We're backing up. We could. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leaving here. I'm gonna bring bomb the map. Okay. Yeah. yeah let's All right. Listen to my voice. Nice. Listen to my voice. Okay. If they stack one side of the fucking map, we flip as much as we can. As much okay. as we can. Bring around the rosy boys. It looks like they're stacking home host side. I, I'm not gonna hold yeah, I see two right here. Three. Yeah. I see three to side. Three. 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 You heard Jeff? Three. Bell tower. Three. Jeff, I have a ball yeah. literally right behind you. Uh, watch my push down, uh, Jay. Yo, right. move up east side. Move up east side, Jeff. They're here. They're here. They're here. They're here. Can we move up east side or what? Let's hear quick. Numbers. Let's hear. I'm gonna take it back. Curtis Buck. Curtis Buck. Don't abate. Don't abate. Nice. 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 One kill. We have picks, boys. We have picks. In our tunnel? Go to our tunnel. Go to our tunnel. Go to our tunnel. He's in our tunnel, he said? No, 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 no. You need not have to. You don't want to press up on anything? We don't have to. We don't have to. Keep finding these picks. That's it. Keep finding these okay. picks. They, they need hills. Yo, uh, new scope. They're going to go B, it looks like. They're going to go B, it looks like. Scope is up. 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 Scope they're not flying for you. They're literally not flying. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Bro, I need constant comms on B. Hey, one more time. Look at the rest. Look at the rest. That's a good down here. Body shot. Two. I shot behind them. I shot behind them. Two more shots. Jay, one shot. One shot, guys. I got him. Two rushies, guys. Two rushies. Rushies, fine. Rushies, nice. Nice. Yeah, he's one shot. In front of me. In front of me. T. T. Team weapon. Team weapon. Team weapon, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Team weapon, boys. Let's go. 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 One more time, bro. Come on, my nigga. Let's go, baby. It's easy. Bro, bro, bro. bro. bro you should have saw the headshot I got on Russia. I see. Oh, I, I, I was, I was out being. That nigga got Spider Man. Let's go. Gears three shit. Some UE shit. Facts. Let's fuck to your right a little bit, bro. Let's go, man. This kid suck, bro. Second half now. Jay, move to your right a little bit, baby. I got you. I swear, when you take your time, bro. Oh, communication strong here for Rise Nation. Again, you could see some of the plays, but you know, going from Ghost Gaming's comms, and I don't want to state the obvious, Colin. You know, Ghost Gaming the down. The comms aren't going to be good. Rise Nation, uh, the comms are going great and they're winning. But what do you take from Rise Nation's comms? And, you know, what's so special about this squad when it comes to that? Uh, you actually heard Keem at one point, their coach, say, listen to me, listen to my voice, listen to my voice. Sometimes when your coach demands you listen to him because he's got a game plan and then you execute the same game plan, it's a beautiful thing. And you saw him, you said, look, if they stack up, we flip. And now again, kills coming out in succession. You're going to see a lot of people going down. They're going to be staggered, coming off spawn. Speedy, Identives up on the top side of the map. They're going to get a lot of damage in on them. Rush is going to have to run off of that left side. Now Identives, he's going to head down right at Jerp. Can he get the kill? No, he can't. Jerp being a big man right now, pumping his chest out, saying, come on, big boy, you want to head down? I got a Nash waiting for you on the other side. So you what, he certainly did uh, Speedy. Now on your screens with the Nash of his own, he's trying to connect, misses two shots. Detox and Power's coming through, and Drix add into the mix as well. Wow. Ghost Gaming just taking apart brick by brick here. And Rushy's trying to do something, takes down Drix and now flying around, making some uh, flashy plays, but uh, it's not all about that. Vex is coming in hot as well, and Rise Nation, they just look like a force to be reckoned with powers. There's no stopping this kid. I ain't gonna lie right now. I
Is he on I keep hearing yeah, him say uh, he's up to 30 at least. I know he had 25 after that second torque bow in the back because somebody went down at the beginning of the map. We're going to be able to see when they bring the scoreboard back. Everybody keeps saying, let's go with Vexies. And you got to remember that name right now. Vexies is doing exactly what he's best known for, making highlight reels, ladies and gentlemen. If you go to his YouTube channel, if you follow that man, you know he loves to put a montage together. He loves to put on a show. And right now, he's doing it better than every single other person on main stage. My goodness. Okay. Well, A, B, and C are D, E, and F. And hello, we've got a boom shot and Ghost Gaming. They want to play for it here. Ghost Gaming wants that big team fight. They want yeah, all they the attention in one place. They, they, they just want to, again, have that kind of four on four or whatever it may be and come out on top right now, though. Powers first blood once again. The initials are there, but it's Anton back for Speedy Jerpy ch chopping away, though, as we do see Drix finali finalize that with Sleepy Identives and Speedy last alive here as Detox and Drix may be able to take him down. But again, they have that team fight. Drix does go down and Speedy should be able to finish him off here. Oh, that's a great flank, though. Look at that. He gets the meat shield down, and then Jerpy gets the kill. So Speedy, with the boom shot in hand, only gets the fire one shot off. He didn't get the whole round out. Now Rushies is going to try to come in here. He and Rezik have to make something happen. Rezik already picking up a pick right there. Detox now is the next man in the crosshairs for Rushies. Can Rushies get this next frag off? He will. He, he will get the down. He's going to clean him up, too. Boom, there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, Ghost Gaming, like a tidal wave, has killed two or three people in a row. Four people, excuse me. And this is what they want. This is what they want. They want both the pressure and the points here. Jerpy taking down Sleepy. But for Ghost Gaming, you know, they set a game plan here with, with the boom shot. And so far, so good. You know, these guys are in the lead by 20. They're looking for the triple cap. They're looking to shut them down. They're looking to do it now. 5-2 to rise for Ghost Gaming. Do not count these out. Identives, you heard him before in the pregame interview. Looking hot here, but we've not really seen too much from him. Yeah, he's not being able to perform. He's playing in a little bit of a weird spot here and there. He keeps getting caught off guard, but tried to put on something right there. Only got one of the three people that were in front of him. Powers, though, is the tip of the spear. You need to keep your eyes on that man. He gets another down, which allows Jerpy to cap, cap him up. We need to go up forward with Powers. Cause, oh, no, Powers got killed. He got taken out by the flank, so that's a good flank coming out on Powers. So now we see, what can, what can Jerpy do with two members left for Ghost Gaming over there against Jerpy in the bell tower? Jerpy gets the first. He's going for a second, but he gets down and out. So now two members left alive with a third coming off spawn for Rise Nation. What can the last, now four alive? They're going to keep coming off spawn, so you don't have enough time. This is that second round of the second half, so there's a lot of time for you to get your resources back and to reassess your situation. Yeah, he's so speedy there, just looking around, waiting for this boom. Well played from uh, Ghost Gaming here, and this has been a, a round that's certainly been in control of, and it comes from the boom. You know, they've got it both times. First time, they didn't really utilize it too well, but this time, they're a lot better set up. They have the lead, they have the hills. How to Rise Nation go about punching a hole through this defense? That is a problem. Are they gonna Stacking three, stacking two now in the middle. Yeah. Two, two, one, look at that, a little two, two, one spread. But boom shot is at that bell tower. Speedy has both shots in that boom shot. So if they get a call out and they get a little bit of a push, and I think that's why Rise has actually gotten themselves on the opposite side of the map heavy. They've gone to the top market and gone further to the street side because they know the boom shot will be waiting for them at the E-Hill, but they're going to have to get all three hills at this point in the map. You cannot wait around. You can't sit on your laurels if you are Rise Nation, and they get another down. So I think that's going to spell demise for this map for this round. Speedy connects with the boom as well. And like you said, that, that's a round that's just going in favor of Ghost Gaming, uh, and they controlled that. Now this is where they can build some momentum. You see the splits. 2-1, 1-1, 2-1. Rush, hey, look, Speedy didn't even have to use a shot out of that second respawn boom. Rise Nation knew that it respawned. They knew where it was, and they never, ever went close to it. They wasted so much time on the opposite side of the map trying to just get some control that Speedy would have had two rockets to throw your way if you had ever tried to face him. Always interesting to hear what they have to say. Powers. And we'll be putting down that weapon now. 5-3 as we head into round number nine. Go gotta, put the snipe, gotta put the sniper down. I'd put that snipe right back in the middle of the map. And they go with frags. So I think they're going to try to get those frags early in the round and use those frags to control the tempo and the spacing of the members of Ghost Gaming over at that boom shot to keep them from getting it so easily like they did in the previous round. 
33 downs, uh, sorry, 33 kills, 15 downs for Powers. He needs, he needs to keep that up, and that is a large part of why Rise Nation are leading by two right now, but you, you worry, you know, what happens when Powers can't put those numbers on the board? Well, we saw with Echo Fox, when he was putting up those great numbers, they played well. When he didn't put up those numbers in San Diego, they didn't finish quite as hot. So a lot of pressure on that young man to always be performing, always be doing his best to keep his team in every fight that he can keep them in. And now he's going to rotate down. He knows he's got a little bit of an advantage. He's got that altitude. He sees Sleepy, or he sleeps Rushy over that cover, but Rushy's had the rockets in his hand, so it's time to retreat, Powers. It's going to be easy kill now. He heads down into him. That's a trade, but the boom shot is on the ground. You just got to rotate a member over there, I think, and get that last boom. And I like that. Uh, obviously, uh, Powers just kind of taking one for the team, knowing when he charged that in that he was going to die, but he took it. I like a man, and now he's going to be respawning shortly. Ghost Gaming, though, looking for two rounds back to back. They're going to need to, need to find some kind of points, though, as the Hills are in favor of Rise Nation right now. You do worry, you know, if Rise Nation are to win, say, this round, go 6 3. That's there, a big kill by Detox. Uh, a couple points here. But there you go. As we see, identities do go down. Huge kill from Detox coming in, and now Rise Nation starts to push. Momo, he saved his teammate right there. I don't know what it is, but that teammate owes that man lunch because he was down, and all somebody had to do was walk up and clean him up. Detox said, not today, baby. Not today. 5-3. And counting, going for a triple cap. Ambitious stuff from Rise Nation with three players still left alive. Not able to capitalize on that one. Now pushing forward. Rezig identifies. Double in up for the triple and now pushing forward here. So this, is where you, this is where you fly. That 70-point lead means a heck of a lot, and you got to get some breaks right here. And now Chirpy gets one out of the two. He's going to be in a true 1v1 now. He's going to reset his health a little bit. He gets another shot out, but here comes the reinforcements for Ghost Gaming. Jerpy cannot get a second kill as the reinforcements came in. Yet again, good mid-round rotations by both of these teams. Drix winning a little bit of a home hill fight, runs all the way down to the Ghost Gaming side, decaps, and gets another cap to keep the pressure solely on Ghost. Ghost is going to have to continue move while really only rise has to play defense Drix tries to head down outside of that hill at rushies not a gamble you want to take certainly not we're gonna see frags picked up how's that he released them straight away chucks him in doesn't connect avexis goes down to the boom as well and that boom's still alive and kicking in the hands of speedy and they might be down by around 80 points here goes gaming but you know they can change the game like anyone in a matter of seconds couple of kills and yeah, the way he goes in favor of them Four members of Ghost right there, Momo. Look at that. That's a full push. That is a wolf pack, baby. Thought you were looking at NC State all of a sudden, but there's a big kill by Rushy. Now Rushman gets taken out. Drix, Jerp, both playing a little bit of defense. Drix put this, pulling his snub out, getting those shots out. Now Jerp, beautiful up A to get the down and the cleanup. But on the backside, big flank kills Drix and can speedy clean up the second and continue to keep control over the home hill of Rise Nation. He does. He's going to go back up and try to make sure they cannot cap it because you're going to have to keep everything broken. Speedy is going to get double lancered. 13 rounds. He does not get the chance to go down. So three members of Ghost Gaming all stacking up on that side of the map. There's 10 seconds that they got to hold because E-Hill is being broken. They got to get into this hill within the next two seconds. They got something right in the hill, but he doesn't get it. And that will be six rounds for Rise. Drix is uh, always just chilling, ready for the next round. Hey, look, he's a father, ladies and gentlemen. That man right there lets nothing bother him. Once you get that, to worry about kids out here, Daddy Drix out there, he's just cool, calm, and collected. Always got the same face. He's just a steam engine, baby. He keeps moving forward, keeps grinding. He wants this. He knows that it's not enough yet. You got to get seven rounds to win a map. That fifth round, that sixth round, they don't mean nothing until you close out that seventh. This could be it. Boom, frags on a block. Frags obviously so, so important, but the boom is where it's at. Everyone wants a piece of it, and Detox has already got it. Avexis finds one. This could be the beginning of the end if they go big, but no, Detox takes down himself. That boom is going to be on the floor, like you said, a little bit uh, in limbo here, but looking for the next couple of kills. Drix finds Sleepy, and this is all Rise Nation again. Detox, another, or Avexis. Woo! But Avexis is going to go down. Jerpy on a big flank gets the second. Avexis doing everything he can. Gone ahead, Jay. Put on a showcase for us all, ladies and gentlemen. He's doing it. You got to keep the camera on Avexis. You got to see what he does because they're going to have to try to break a hill right now. 
He's going to come up top. He's going to have that last shot in the boom. He's going to go for a Hail Mary pass across the top to get that final kill. He won't need to. He will not need to, ladies and gentlemen. They will finish off map one in style. Seven to three on Old Town. Rise Nation one, Ghost none. And all that yelling. My man Colin starting to lose his voice. Rise Nation with the upset on map number one, Old Town. Ghost Gaming, they have a lot to do. Yeah, you were saying that earlier too. You know, Rise is a team that comes out strong usually, and they look like the better team right now. But yeah. can they can they actually keep this up? Yeah, Do they have the depth to keep this up versus a team like Ghost? It, it's tough. Yeah, uh, consistency is always going to be difficult, and, it, and it's not necessarily just about them. It, yeah. It's when Ghost Gaming just flick that switch and go, actually, now this is our series, <laughs> and it's going to be interesting because again, going into ne the next map, Rise Nation may go in with the same firepower, the same speed, but that's not the Ghost Gaming I know. You know, that's not the ghost game, and I think you guys know at home as well. So, you know, do they just not turn up? And is it too late? Single limp. You know, one map and they're out. Uh, they need to start now. I'm hoping that the communication is a little bit better. I know you can see, hear the frustration, and rightly so. Um, but again, you've got to credit uh, Rise Nation. They came out great on that map. Yeah, but Ghost Gaming, they're going to go to Force Bliss, a map that they're definitely known for, especially up in that control tower. But it's going to be hard to stop players such as Powers. Powers, excuse me, Powers, he actually had over 30 kills, less than 20 deaths. Powers absolutely grabbed the game by the throat and made sure Ghost Gaming had no chance at all. You also have to credit a Vexes who went absolutely big as well. You have to give credit to Rise Nation. They're stepping up in a big way against Ghost Gaming. But Rise, they are fighting for a great cause. Who is the charity organization that they're representing? It'll be Gamers Outreach. They're an incredible organization, and they provide hospitals with activities and gaming through children and teens. But Ghost Gaming, if they really want to pick it up coming to Forge Blitz, what can we expect from them? It's got to start at the top. It's got to start with their leadership. Speedy, the IGL for that team, has to make a statement every round in Control Tower. He cannot lose a single round up there. That's the weight of the world on his shoulders, but that man has the ability to do it. Every time he was in a 1v1, he made people look silly in the last map. It was only yep. when somebody was getting a cross on him, and by a cross, I mean some other teammate getting some Lancer fire in, that Speedy was going down. Speedy, the IGL, make the plays, make the calls. Be the big man on campus that Ghost Gaming needs you to be. Yeah, Speedy and Rushies are definitely going to have to start off hot right now. We saw Rushies go pretty big in map one, but Ribs, what does Speedy have to do? What is his main position on Force Blitz where he can stand out? Uh, you know, get him power weapons. Make sure he's winning that fight up top of the Rushies. They're going against Derpy and, uh, and Powers, and Powers had a great map just, just now. So, honestly, I, I'm, I'm going to need Speedy to just calm down a little bit, start winning some rounds, get a little bit of momentum. Like Momo said, once they turn on that switch, they have the confidence versus a team like Rise. They're not worried right now. If they were down one over as Hoptic, I think they would be a little bit more worried than they are now. But right now, Rise looks like the better team. Yeah, and I think the, the weird thing is they, they almost know themselves, and I'm sure they are very confident. They know that they're the better team. Yeah. They're like, okay, we shouldn't be 1-0 down. Yes, we've let it slip, but now we're going into a map we're much more comfortable on. We've got, obviously, that up-top duo. Uh, and I think they'll be confident going into this. I think they need to win some early rounds, though. Yes. They, lo they, st they lose the first two rounds, and then it's panic, sure, I think. Sure, sure. Uh, but I, I've got confidence in Ghost. I'm sticking with my prediction in this one. Uh, but I, I've got to say, hugely, hugely surprised by Rise, and, and I'm happily surprised. It's going to be quite interesting because up in the control tower, you're going to have Speedy and Rushies, obviously, but yeah. they're going to face off against Jerpin Powers, okay? If we take that off the board on the other side of the map, you're going to have Trix versus Idenos. That's a big fight. Hey, that's a big, big fight, fight because Idenos, he didn't have a good map, map one. He didn't. So if Trix and Detox really want to take the momentum into their hands and upset Ghost Gaming, a Titan and Gears of War, what do you want to see from them? Uh, well, Drix is very good in this Forge uh, position, this 1v1 yeah. position. I know uh, back when Powers was on Echo Fox, they used to fight a lot, and he was actually very good versus Powers. So now he's fighting against Identums. And it's similar play style between Powers and Identums. Very aggressive, very smart with their weapon choices, pistol, lancer, shotgun. So we'll have to see how Drix matches up, because he knows the rest of the map is kind of even. Yeah. Well, with Ghost Gaming with their life on the line, they're going to have to tie things up or else they're going to go home. But before we jump into map two, I say we learn a little bit more about Ghost Gaming. Fatal Strike for Ghost Gaming, Gears of War, and the charity we chose was Gamers Outreach, and we're giving away portable medical gaming carts for kids in hospitals. I think it's important to give to charity just to, to give back. Uh, we're lucky to be fortunate enough to do something that we love. And we're fortunate enough to be able to, you know, uh, live, our, live our lives comfortable and healthy. So some people get that taken away from them. So the best thing we could do is try to give back since we're, you know, lucky to be fortunate right now. One of our opponents chose this charity as well. So 
I'm glad that two different teams are giving for this cause. I think it's good for the community since we have a, I guess you could say a hardcore personality, I would say. That's just who we are on the outside, like maybe our personas, like Fatal Strike might be that way, but Joe, for example, isn't, isn't gonna be that way. So it's good for us to, to give back. I think that means a lot. Playing with champions is a great feeling. You know, it just kind of gives me a feeling that I'm almost there to be a champion. You know, I have what it takes and I can't wait to the day that we're all champions as a team and I just included in that. We're so good. Like, we're so good at the game. We just need to keep playing, keep trusting in your teammates and just complete the process more than nothing. There you have it from Ghost Gaming with their tournament life on the line. Can Rise Nation go ahead and pull off the upset? A lot of you guys seem to disagree. But Ghost Gaming, they have a coach behind them, Fatal Strike. You've been blessed to play in front of Fatal Strike. That's actually a great friend of yours for a few years. Oh, yeah. What does he bring to the team that really helps him out? Uh, consistency, you know, whatever he says really goes. You, you yeah. can trust what he has to say. And, you know, when he first joined the team, you know, Speedy was a little bit skeptical. But now that, you know, they, they, they trust each other. You know, there's six people really working together on that roster. And they're going to a map they're very comfortable with. Yeah. So uh, Rise definitely has their work cut out for them. Yeah, so if Rise has their work cut out for him, who's the X Factor on Ghost Gaming that needs to step up? We say a lot about the control towers. Speedy and Rushies, we need to see more from Speedy. Like I said earlier, Speedy is the IGL of that team. I want him to go off in this map. I want him to go big. But you know what? Another player I always like to keep my eyes on, Sleepy Time. Yachty is a longtime veteran. He's a great human being, and he's an even better player, which is hard to believe because he's one of the best men in this scene. Sleepy Time can do big things on Forge Blitz. He finds himself in the right positions all the time. All right, you know, I'm pretty upset that no one yet has said anything about Reggie the latest pickup, <laughs> but jumping in the map, too, is do or do. Die. Town for Ghost Gaming. Momo and Colin, take it away. I think we're going to let Rezik do the talking in game. Let's see what he has to do off the break. But nevertheless, we're jumping into Forge Blitz. And this is a game mode where, uh, sorry, a, a map where, you know, at the end of the day, Rise can end it. I do feel if Ghost Gaming uh, are shut down, I think it's in two. I don't think that they, they you know, win a second and lose a third. So be interesting to see if Rise can shut it down straight away. But let's get up top into the action. It's Jerpy. Yeah, Jerpy's going to take this mid box. He's going to see that Speedy or, uh, Powers is going to bounce back down toward him. They know that it's Sleepy and Rushy on the opposite side of this. And they're going to push them out of there. There's a lot of damage coming out from those L triggers. And now they're going to look down at Sleepy. Sleepy time winning that initial fight down there. B getting that hill cap off. So now two hills to one. They have the hills, but not the kills in their favor. And let's see where they rotate their most aggressive player speedy takes b hill and now there's a triple cap coming through a little bit of a mr crab situation you got to get out of there you hear those bells tolling you don't know if it's going to end or not so you got to get out of that control tower maybe leave only one player up there to lancer down speedy's going to head down right at jerp cannot get the kill up in the tower there was a big fight that went down and i believe Alexi's won that as well so now detox is going to go down here See if he can give some backups. EP is down. Identus all by his lonesome. And the hill has gotten flipped on its side. The map is flipped upside down. And just like that, Rise Nation taking mat round number one in map number two. And this is what I was talking about. <laughs> talking about you got to win those first couple of rounds, you know, get some confidence back. Ghost Gaming. Like they getting a little frustrated now, but the, the comms seemed okay there. Just saying he missed his shots, and, you know, we'll get back into this, but seeing what we can drop down. We talked a little bit about this, but Control Tower is going to be blocked. He wants to keep this nice and simple up top. That's a, that's a smart move. Even if you win that up top fight, it might not give you a weapon, but you do not want to let Rise Nation put like a sniper or an M-Bar up there and then get that into the hands of the man himself, of Exis, who we have seen made highlight reel after highlight reel in that exact spot. So now you're going to go up there, you're going to fight for this control tower again, and you see Avexis, a lot of team fire, a lot of cross coming out. They're going to come into this engagement, and up top, I think Rushy's pushed straight into their grill, and he got paid for it. He tried to deliver some punishment, and it was all put down on him. She's first to go down, and 
Raze Nation, that just fuels them with even more confidence. And Vexy's down, loading down Rezik. Sleepy Answers back, but now the trades will come in. We're going to see a, a big team push coming in for Ghost Gaming now. A little bit of a wolf pack. I think if they do a better job of that, they can win these rounds. You saw in map number one, every time Ghost decided that they did wolf pack, it was a round that actually pick up. So you got to stay closer to your teammates. It's not just a nice tagline for this game, never fight alone. It's the truest statement about it. There's a little flank coming in there. Drix is going to find one and now push him forward here. Has that Nasher in hand, maybe looking to cap B. He has GOP up ahead, and Identifs is down over by the incinerator as well. That's three on timers for now. With Speedy coming off that spawn. We're gonna have to see what he can do, but again, strong, strong start for Rise Nation. Can't believe what I'm seeing, if I'm being completely honest, but credit to the men. Powers of X's GOP Detox and Drix all putting on a show for us today. The charity, of course, for these guys, you know, means a lot for them. Uh, and we talked about it a lot, you know, how important this is, and they're Pushing forward, going for this triple cap. Bit of a different situation, you know. It's a studio rather than, you know, an event, a crowd, and everything else in between. Rise Nation, they look comfortable. Yeah, sitting pretty right now. But again, in another big team fight where you give Ghost Gaming the chance to wolf pack, it goes in favor of Ghost Gaming. If you are Rise Nation, you got to continue to run basically ISO plays. You got to get these members isolated in spots that they don't like. Again, Resic in a 2v1, now 3v1. He's going to get taken out. He had no help over there. There was no wolf pack, and now Rise gets to do it and take control of the map back if they move these three members as one single unit across the map. They're gonna take over the cogwheels now. Shots coming out, Sleepy playing defense over there. But a big flank coming out of control tower. Jerpy getting one, can Jerpy get the second? Trying to find him, trying to clean him up. He's running away, but he won't be for much longer. Hands and knees, and that's all he's gonna see. Detox will pick up his teammate there. And now all good to go. 133 plays 110, 20 point lead for Rise Nation, but they have only got the B Hill to the name, both home hills in favor of Ghost Gaming. Big round here. Let's see what he does, because he's gonna be on these cog wheels. We're gonna slow down a little bit. This is where you're gonna get your mo you're gonna get your huddle in. Gotta talk about what you want. Rushies goes down, so that's gonna immediately set off more players into action. Two downs on the side of Ghost Gaming. They're gonna have to wait for a tap up, tap up. Sleepy playing a great spot there. He, or that's Speedy, excuse me. Speedy playing back in a beautiful spot. Great 1v1 acting by him. He's on Jerp now. Can Jerp get the kill? So far, no. Jerp is gonna run right past him. I think he's gonna go for that hill break. He will. He's gonna get on that A hill to threaten the triple cap as members of his own team come off spawn. Speedy ran over to B to get that, try to get that D cap. So now the fight switches its point of focus over the B hill. And Rise Nation in the lead. You're gonna have to push across the map if it goes gaming. You gotta get these breaks. Rushy goes down. Detox cleans him up. And the B Hill is defended. That's another round in favor of Rise Nation, ladies and gentlemen. 207, nobody touched. Two, nothing. Rise already. Let's go, baby. Yo, DeMarco, bro. They're doing a listen to that. Bro, Jerp was in their closet for at least three minutes, bro. He it's was in the closet for at least three round. minutes, bro. Keep it up. Unsure Keep it up. of how shaky you have to be to hold down the same spot for three minutes. But if you're Ghost with your tournament life on the line and you're already down two rounds in the second map and Rise Nation is feeling it, you're gonna have to figure something out. You're gonna have to get those fangs back. You're gonna have to become apparitions again. You gotta summon up the power. Rise Nation, my goodness. The, the one thing that we said was Ghost Gaming needed to start strong and just put something on the board, get that confidence back. They're not out of it, don't get me wrong. It's very hard to rule Ghost out of a game like this, but straight away, kill after kill for Rise Nation. They're outnumbering, they're outplaying, outmoving, everything. And we're going to see three plays put on timers. That's four, only Rezik up and alive. And this is where Rise Nation, they're going to try and put the nail in the coffin. Rezik is going to have an important 1v1. He needs to stay alive here. He's going to have to fight for his life. Rezik rolling back. That drop shot coming in, picking up identives. Another one in, picking up oh. Rezik. Third <laughs> member of Ghost Gaming is going to be the only man that can protect it. He's going to get exploded. Now two members are going to have to run down, try to get a touch on the hill. First one gone. Second one still alive. Speedy getting a touch. That'll be it. That's gonna be three rounds in a row, and that one is a big gut punch. You're gonna be out of breath, you're gonna be reeling, you're gonna be on the ropes right now. And Powers taking off the jacket, ladies and gentlemen, here in the studio. He's unleashing right now, taking off that jacket. He's gonna get that full motion out of those shoulders, out of his shoulders, down through his hands. He's feeling himself, he's feeling it, and he is ready to put this to bed.
Rise Nation, they look unstoppable now. Yeah, the credit is on their side. I think map one, we questioned, you know, is Ghost having an off map or is Rise playing well? Now I think it's very safe to say that Rise is playing phenomenally. Avexi's 12 kills to his name, but across the board, it, it, it's just, it, it's kind of crazy to see Rise Nation. 3-0 up here, you got the drop shot in the middle. You got those marks as, as well, but that's going to be it. You got to block up top and Rise Nation. Uh, I say it a lot about swing rounds. This isn't a swing round. This is where Ghost Gaming, they, they need a round, Colin. You said it, hey, look, earlier you, you alluded to a nail in the coffin situation. This is where you finish building that coffin. You built the coffin. Now they're digging a grave, right? They got the shovel out. They're trying to build down to six feet, try to have a place to put Ghost Gaming away. If they get this fourth round, it's all over but to cry, and I think because all the momentum is swung in their favor. Everything will be ready for them. Avexi's with the drop shot. Drop shot coming across the map. It misses. And Speedy getting taken out by Powers. Powers on the back now. He's on the flank. He's going to sit down. He's going to see those members of the cogwheels. That's a big drop shot. A lot of damage coming out. Detox cleaning up some more kills. Doing down. everything he can for his team. Four down. My goodness. Rise Nation. They are not stopping here. The momentum is most definitely in favor of them. Rushy's trying to do what he can to survive, stay in this, but he's going to fall as well. And now pushing forward, that's going to be Jerpy. Jerpy finds one. A big gunfire, a lot of smoke going down. Two hills to the name of Rise Nation. Could this be four in a row? It could be. As Rise Nation, they're looking so, so strong. The break is in. It's not over yet. A lot of players alive for Ghost Gaming. The Detox and Resic trading things out. No points on the board right now for Ghost Gaming. As Rise Nation control two to zero in hills. Just look at the movement that's coming in. Powers is going to come in from behind as well. Drix taking down names. Resic doing everything that he can. And he's denied once again. But Rise Nation, they are looking like a force to be reckoned with. Not just a force, a tidal wave at this point. They're a natural disaster coming in, tearing everything up. They're going to get another break on this hill. Jerpy, big Lancer shots by Speedy on Jerp to get him off that hill. Now Powers is waiting in the wings, waiting for somebody to try to push him. Ghost Gaming is fighting for their lives now. It is tooth and nail just to get out of their spawn. They're already getting shot by the time they get down the stairs. Speedy down again. That's a big death if he can go down again. He, there it is. That's two downs. Rezik is going to get the revive. So Speedy is last down. He's on his last down. If he goes down one more time, he will die. Powers is on timer. So let's see what those other four members can do. Can they play a little bit of defense here? Because they have spent forever and a day on the home hill of Ghost Gaming. So the point differential is so far and away in their favor that Ghost is going to be forced to push everything at this point. Yeah, they have to. They have to go big, and they have to do it right now. They're down by around 100, well, nearly 100 points here. And these kills need to go in favor of Ghost Gaming. If they keep trading out like this, then it is only going to favor Rise Nation. Powers just go down. That's going to be the drop shot, and that's going to be another kill there. But it does take down Rushies at the time. C has been decapped, so no points in favor of Rise Nation right now. This is huge. Speedy going big for the squad. He's got six kills to his name. I think half of them are coming this round. Yeah, I think with those last three drop shots, that's at least three of those kills. And now at the B Hill, Jerpy trying to prolong the round for himself. He's going to get cleaned up by Sleepy Time, and they're threatening yet another triple cap. Detox is over there now in a 1v2 situation at B-Hill. He's going to get Lancer down by Identives and then picked off by Sleepy in the correct positioning. Big fight going out at the home hill. That's a big kill by Avexis, but he's not going to get in the hill. He's not going to get the reset. Is two seconds until the round is over. If you're Ghost Gaming, now is the time. You cannot wait any longer. You cannot hesitate any longer. You almost were obliterated off the map with yet another triple cap, and you somehow fought tooth and nail out of your own spawn. And then you flip it on your 10, you take control, and you win that map. That's a dagger in the heart. Now you gotta twist it. Try to make Rise Nation bleed for the rest of this entire map too, because you still got a big map three ahead of you. And that's, that's tough for Rise, because they were, they were on the brink of that fourth round. You know, it was... We've been touching distance, potential triple caps at points, 100 point leads here. Frags have been put down at the incinerator as well. Rise Nation lead by two. Smoke's coming out, another big team fight. And uh, Momo, you've seen it a lot, I think, in your career. When a team is up 3-0 and then you lose a round in that fashion where you should have had it, you had everything in your favor, and then all of a sudden you just get obliterated off the map and you lose, what does that do to a team? Do you think that really sets them back? Oh, it, it's heartbreaking, it's difficult. You know, it's, it's hard to come back from as well. And these guys, I will say they have the experience, they have the talent by all means, but uh, I think for both teams now, keep your head up high and, and, and know what you're capable of. And I think Rise Nation in the last 45 minutes have really kind of found that in themselves. 
Detox, that's two headshots with the marks. So can he get a third? He's trying to get it down right here on Rezik. He gets a couple of good shots on him, so Rezik's going to be hurt. But here comes Sleepy, finding himself in the good position again. I said it pregame. Sleepy time finds himself always in the right positions to help a teammate out, being the rock that his team needs. Still marcher in hand, Detox. Tagging him up, putting him down. Powers finds one. Powers is going to finish Rushies off as well. So a nice play there for Rise Nation, but I've got to give credit to Detox there. A lot of cover and fire and support play, if you like, from these guys. And Rise Nation looking to close this out in two maps. Mind-blowing stuff here, but still a long way to go. Four rounds is what they need. Ghost Gaming, they need this momentum back. Another round here, they're back in it. They're gonna have to figure out how to get back into this round itself because it felt like forever before either team got on the board even. Both teams sat at zero points for the entirety of that opening initial. People picking up weapons left and right. Speedy now with the Marksa in his hand. He's gonna rotate out toward the incinerator. Detox, Marksa for Rise Nation. Detox trying to find out where the callouts are coming from. Rushes is down across the map. He was going over there to try to maybe get that headshot on a down player. That would have been big time to get a shot that far across the map. And I believe Rise Nation's marks should be coming back here soon. If my timer says it correctly, it did. Avexi's marks, Avexi's with another marks. So two marks is in the hand of Rise Nation. That's big for them. Speedy, though, big headshot on Drix. So Drix is down on the home hill side of the map. And Identives is up in the control tower, trying to fend off any kind of push on him. And now the triple cap comes threatening in. Trying to push forward. Is it possible? Yes, it is, but no, broken through. That's going to be Detox. He's going to go down as well. Needs to support a Jerpy. Jerpy picks him up. And like this, this is the same thing. Rise Nation in control. And suddenly, three players make it four on timers. And that's going to be surely a triple cap there. Drix might be able to stop it for now. But can he do anything more? He gets taken out by that frag grenade. And now it's up to Powers. He gets that first in that back corner. He runs out to try to get it two seconds until the round is over. Ghost Gaming did that perfectly. They got the first pick in the round right there after the reset. They said, let's get this first kill. As soon as Drix went down to that headshot by Speedy, they flew across the map. They knew they had the advantage. 5v4 and you got to press it, especially if you stack up one side of the map. That's great retake ability. You've got to credit Ghost. These last couple of rounds that, that, that have won, you know, you could argue they should be 5-0 down right now. You look across the board, 17 for Avexis and the highest for, for Ghost Gaming is at 12. And you, don't, you, you can't count everything on kills. However, a lot of control has been given to Rise Nation and Ghost Gaming that mustered up two rounds out of nowhere. And now it gets scary time for Rise Nation. Three to two. You had complete control over this. You had such a good advantage in this matchup. And now if you drop this round, it's all tied up going to the half. Timers are at their longest on the respawn. Rush is, is getting the first kill as well as Avexis for their team. But that's three dead immediately for Rise Nation with a fourth member going down. That's Avexis down and out. Now it's all up to Drix to play this as long as he can for at least 12 seconds. He needs 12 seconds because the shortest timer was at nine with about three seconds before you can get off spawn. So now the triple cap will come through. Jerpy might make it there, but I think he's going to get met by a drop shot, and I don't think that's going to end well if you're... No, he gets met by an incendiary grenade. They're winning their initials. They're winning the up top fight. Ghost Gaming are getting a taste of what's to come here. You can see the calmness in identives. The hype coming from sleepy time there. But this is where maybe Rice start to question. Start to crumble, you know. We'll have to wait and see. They could completely change that. These guys have the experience to keep composed. I want to see this uh, this fight. Who's going to win these initials? Let's jump on board with Rushies. It's been so good so far in these last couple of rounds. It's all tied up 3-3 three to three here, but who's going to take it? Identity's down low. Rezik as well picks up a kill. Sleepy either side and Ghost Gaming. The fire has been lit. The switch has been turned on, and Ghost Gaming, they're looking to change this game right now. That's a great, another initial in their favor, but the kills are coming back off spawn already because it is the second half of the map. So the timers are back down to their shortest ability. Power's trying to make something happen. He gets cleaned up by Speedy. Sleepy and Speedy taking over the control room. They're going to get pushed off of that by at least one or two members of Rise Nation coming off spawn here. That's Detox going to be set up. They know they got a 2v2. They know that if somebody pushes Speedy already with the Nasher out, he's waiting for somebody to try to push up that handrail so that he can easily step out, chunk him. That's a little bit of a secret man move. 
Speedy just waiting, biding his time. Rightly so, two hills to his name. He doesn't need to put any pressure on, of course. The button is live. And some Lancer fire down across the map there. Powers and Jerpy, the two trying to push on, but they're going to be tagged up. They're not really going to do anything here as the incinerator has been lit. So that's going to be 10, 15 seconds here now for Ghost Gaming. Just to chill and uh, uh, wait it out. You see them rotating around. Sleepy almost anticipating the push, and he's absolutely right. Detox is just down the stairs there. But elsewhere, Speedy, big kill here, making that a 5v4. And Ghost, again, settled into this. They're playing defense yet again. They know they only got a one pick, and they know he's going to come off spawn very quickly. Two dead for Ghost. Does Rise Nation push their advantage? Three dead for Ghost. So he does fend off the 1v1, big 1v1 by Sleepy Time right there. Sleepy showing how it's done, putting on a little bit of a clinic, trying to be the doctor, the professor up there in that control room now. Now got the control here, a bit of a slower paced game, but Rise Nation currently in control of two hills. They do have the incinerator now. They're pushing through. Potentially to try and triple cap, but there's only two players holding that back. You see down the control tower, Rise Nation. This is where they can put in a master class here. It's all about the next wave of kills, Colin. Oh yeah, look at that. 2-2-1, two, two, playing a lot of defense. I wonder. They can, they can hold on to that one hill. If there is no break that comes out, they will win off of one hill. Look at that double Lancer fire coming out. They cannot let Detox get in that hill. Here comes the push, Powers is the first man in. Great shot over the cover by Speedy. Speedy getting the first, but he gets taken out for his trouble. They are gonna get the break. So now it is crunch time, miss roll. That is big, that is massive. Detox has to push in, he can't let him cap the hill again. That is great defense, ladies and gentlemen. They played that perfectly. They were pressed up against their own goal line. Rise Nation went for it on fourth down, however you want to put it. And Ghost Gaming played great defense to prevent the decap and the triple cap. That's literally why I told you to go to the game. Yeah, that's my bad. Yeah, that's my bad. I actually think it's the it's the energy and the hype post round that they were missing all of the first map. Even the rounds they won, nobody stood up. Nobody got as hype as they are right now. Tournament life on the line, you start losing rounds, you feel like you're down and out, and then all of a sudden you win one or two and you stand up. That's the ghost gaming we know. That's the ghost gaming that everybody expected was you win a round, you stand up for no good reason other than you are the best. Powers needs to put the jacket back on. I figured it out. Ooh. <laughs> Big call by Momo. Big Absolutely call. nothing to do with it. Just uh, an observation. However, an observation. Shout out to Waldo Cleaner in the back. And Cleaner's actually guiding us through this one, but Chirpy on your screen. Just backed off a little bit here as we are going to see uh, Ghost Game and Control D and E for now. Sleepy. Identives. Putting names on the board here and Ghost Gaming are looking for round number five. It'll be five back to back here. Rice Nation, don't forget they were 3 0 up in this. My goodness, a Vexy's just dodging, weaving as well, waiting for the back of his team. He's going to tag up Speedy a little bit and now maybe the push can come in. Dip, dodge, dive, duck. Dip, dodge, dive, duck, and dodge again. I think of the five Ds, right? What about Drix, Detox? I can think of a few more. A few more on the map right now. Incinerator goes off to prevent Rise Nation from getting into the E-Hill. Buying up some time, getting able to get a setup again. The Vex is going to get marked and called out. Look at that beautiful turnaround Lancer fire right there. Great play, great heads up play by him. Nice Absolutely signal. intelligent. The Vex is there, still going strong. 22 kills to his name. He's trying to swing this game back into their advantage and pushing forward route. Rise Nation, obviously, they're going up against a much more confident Ghost Gaming, and that is a scary Ghost Gaming, to say the least. Trying to find one, Avexis does, but he's gonna go down, and Speedy and Identis find the triple between them, and now pushing forward again, Ghost Gaming come out on top, and this feels like what we thought would happen, but we thought this would happen from map one, round one, and it really wasn't. Powers, oh, disgusting stuff. Can he find a second on Sleepy? Back and forward. Doesn't really know himself, I think, at this point, but going full red, just needs one to connect, finds the head and another, and Speedy comes in to save the day, but two taken down, great stuff for Rise Nation there, in particular, 
the palace. Oh, Vexies is making me sweat like I'm in church on Sunday, ladies and gentlemen, in the deep south. I'm sweating so hard up here on this main stage because Powers is putting on a show. All that movement, all that speed finally gets taken out after the first two kills, and now Vexies gets called out again. He is going to have to take a little bit of cover, try to get himself back, and now he's going to pull out his leg to try to help get that kill on Rushies for Chirp. There's two downs. I think that last bullet out by Vex, he's actually downed his own teammate. There's a revive. There's a big kill by Sleepy. So 2-1 trade right there. That's a big trade for Rise. You got another member down. You're in that heel. You get it capped up. You got a chance to come back and take a lead in this one. Rise Nation down in points, but they do have two hills. Not for long, though. The home hill has been decapped, and now the pinch comes in. The question is, can they get another hill? They need it. You hear the chimes coming in. One hill will do it for Ghost Gaming as it stands currently. If he has two things on his mind, one in front, one behind. Identiv takes him down like that. Identiv picked up, but Rushies will answer back. And now as Ghost Gaming jump onto E, this is looking even better for them. Five rounds potentially back to back here. Ghost Gaming are back. They flick that switch. They're hyped up. The energy is there. And I tell you what, Rise Nation are in trouble. I can hear Joe on the main stage screaming let's go behind his players fatal strike the coach trying to keep their hype going trying to keep it up and i'm sure our subtitles over at twitch.tv slash gears of war underscore latam are doing an amazing job of picking up all the commentary picking up all of what the players are saying in the listening's doing a great job for those subtitles but even better job i believe i saw it you were great cleaner in the back driving for us i love it he's getting us to all the fights that we need to see and we're actually getting to see a lot more wolf packing out of ghost gaming in this second half here every time i see one member of ghost i feel like a second member somewhere in the area it's like they're splitting each other off into little teams little subsections on the map the question is how do rice stop ghost gaming they've lost five rounds back to back ghost gaming are probably you know the most confident they've been in the whole series how do you stop this Pump the brakes. Slow them down. Well, the up-top fight is just not an up-top fight. No one challenging right now is Ghost Gaming's for the take, and the incinerator was pushed, so that can't be camped just yet here. Looking for the Lancer Fire. Speedy trying to find a, an angle, but Khan. Now the push comes in. Powers is waiting. He's going to be rolling away, but he's going to have to call for back if he has got those back up. And of Xyz and Jerpy. Oh, all those backup players here. Powers lured them into a full sense of security. And Rise the Nation. Back. Again, look back. Never fight alone, Momo. If you're looking around, you better have somebody with you. Sleepy getting a big, another big kill out of him. Rezik, though, getting taken out finally by Vexies. Here comes the triple cap. Identives will try to retreat to that home hill, I believe. He is super hurt, so he might want to take a second. Ghost has secured their home hill in their favor again. I don't think they're fighting on it right now. Let's do this. No, they are not. Identif's checking his corners. Making sure he's alone. Making sure he's not going to get popped out by a secret man. Drix on the E hill side. Sees Sleepy. Pops his head. Tries to get some shots on. Here comes his, the smoke and the big push by Ghost Gaming onto that E hill. Well, they managed for the decap. Can they do one better? Can they pick it up? That's the question. Ghost Gaming looking for a few extra points. They're 25 points down as it currently stands. There is the incinerator. No one's going to have E. However, Rise Nation have both home hills in a second. The cap is going to come in. However, the kills do favor Ghost Gaming. That's only one side of the story, though. Two players coming off timers. Identive's now back in the game here. He'll be looking to help out his teammates. Avex, he's and Rezik trading things out here. But now, with the incinerator gone, it's playtime. And here comes a big flank by Sleepy. This is massive. If Sleepy can get behind him and get a kill right here, that is all. But it does not come out. Detox, great turnaround by him getting on that cover, getting a shot over. And now, Rise Nation is going to have to wolf pack. He cannot be in 1v1s. He can't be in 2v1s. Try to be in a 3v1. Try to get your numbers stationed on one side or the other. Be heavy on one side of the map. Break hills. Get caps. Detox is super hurt right now. Almost absolute, but he is not quite there yet. Time will tell. Still a lot of time to go in the round in particular. Rise Nation, they have a strong lead, a commanding lead for now. Big over the cover shot by Detox right there on that kill. Love those. Rezik was on his last down, so he's down and out. Speedy getting killed. That's three dead. If you're Rise Nation, this is it. 
Get that second kill. Secure the round for yourself. Detox getting another one. Here comes Identives to go for a break, but he gets called out. He's not going to get down just yet. He's still fighting for his life. It's only 190 to 145, so if you're Ghost, you got to get that last hill broken. you got to get E and D broken right now. About seven seconds before the end of the round. Vexy's going for the final kill here. It's not going to matter, though. Rise Nation, after six rounds, they'll find their first. And they needed that. They really, really needed that. Pump the brakes. Don't let Ghost Gaming get the momentum and get that triple cap. They win by the 210 point margin. And that was a lot of good rotations. Again, both of these teams seem to really stride faster. They're really just on all cylinders if they have more than one or two members together. If they're wolf packing around, they're doing the best job possible. I love to turn around and look at these teams while they're on main stage. Look at their composure. Look at the coaches behind them, dapping people up, trying to get people to talk amongst each other. A little bit of small talk in between rounds, keep each other confident. Rise Nation, if you missed it, took map number one here. We do have the talk up top now. That's a big power play. That's a big name. That's a big weapon. You got Rushies and Speedy. Both of them are amazing with that torque bow. So if they can win this initial fight, that is something massive in their hands. They get the first down. Are they going to get a second down right here? They do get a second down. So Speedy will be on his last life. Are they going to try to get the third down? They get Rushies really hurt. Rushies and Speedy are going to fly at that last member. And look at that. Powers cleaning him up. Chirpy can't save Powers. Chirpy, is he going to be able to save himself, though? He doesn't even need to get the chunk. He just has to get the down. You should play for damage right here. Speedy's been down twice, and he wow. doesn't even save himself. That is massive for Speedy. Speedy played that absolutely perfect. However, Rezik and Identives elsewhere are down. This is not good news for them. And I will say maybe saves the bacon a little bit, winning that 1v2, if you like, up top. But Rushies is going to finally go down here. That's four players on times for a second here. He's been decapped as well, and now being taken over by Rise Nation. This could be a quick round, and we are going to see a break coming for Ghost Gamer, but it's the next wave of kills that are crucial. Power takes down Speedy. Sleepy goes down as well. Avexis, though, will be traded out, and Identives getting on that score sheet as well. Can they get the triple cap? This would be used for Rise Nation. This would say a lot about their team's composure, a lot about what they can and can't do, but Rushies is going to fall as well. Not able to finish there as stun, but with the five seconds coming in, they just need to stop any type of momentum coming through, and they will. All title, 5-5, five, five, Ghost Gaming. The brakes have stopped them dead in their tracks right now. First person to stand up on the side of Rise Nation, of Vexies, the man himself. It seems like right now he's taking the weight of the world on his shoulders. Powers put on a clinic in map number one. Of Vexies is doing his thing better than anybody else on the circuit right now. He's getting every kill needed. He's being in the right spots for his team. I love to see when a player can put the pressure on himself and say, I will come through for you. I will do this for us. Two more rounds. After two more rounds, we could be seeing Ghost Gaming go home. We could be seeing a third map. Anything can still happen. Do not underestimate Ghost Gaming. Yeah, they won five back to back and now lost a couple in a row, but this is a big fight up top. Sleepy goes down. That's a Vexies again. The play we highlighted already. Full chunk. That's going to be bad news for Speedy. Jerpy goes down. Big 1v1. Can powers out to Rushy? That's the question. Detox has actually taken the sniper tricks as well, picking up kills. The question is, we, we've seen a lot of things go well for Ghost Gaming up top, but everything else isn't going well. The triple cap getting threatened. Rushman will. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh no! Detox. Oh no! Detox, you are disgusting. Speedy and Sleepy, I will say, you got to give credit to the the big place. No, you don't connect with that. And Rotating Detox wrong. has been doing this forever, ladies and gentlemen. He's been a pro since UE. He played on a goon squad late in UE. Comes out, been bouncing around team after team, but he's found a home here on Rise Nation, and he is one of the best in the business. Two hills to Another one. headshot for Detox with that M-Bar. He is so dangerous right now. It's like enemy at the gates. It's a sniper battle, baby. I love that. Incredible stuff so far. The decap comes in. Oh, one is going to go down. Where she finalizes that kill as well. Chirpy answers back. Detox finds another. Give him a sniper. Give him a Nasher. It doesn't even matter. So that's a big kill by Rezik. Rezik trying to fight for his life, and he's going to get taken out by Powers. So Powers will take back over the E Hill. 20 point lead for Rise Nation. Playing a little bit of defense. Jerpy now getting crossed out. 
He's going to get that kill on Identives, and it's going to send down. Speedy onto that pipe. So now Speedy is going to be fighting for his team. The IGL, the eater, the leader. He's going to have to get some kills here. Here comes a teammate. A little bit of help from his friend Sleepy coming off spawn. He Woo! gets picked up by the Torque Bow. Oh, my God. Rise Nation, they look hot. They're not able to get the triple cap, though. They can't get the final kills there. Ghost Gaming battle back into this one. However, Rise Nation, they have the advantage. The question is, can they complete it? Can they just hold on? You know, what, what's the game plan right now for Rise Nation? A little bit of defense. You're up about 50 points or so, about 45, 50 points. You still got the two hills. You might lose this second hill. So now it is a one point to one point. As soon as they cap this, you got to figure out where you are. Rev Bexy's big shot coming out, though. Love that. Avexi's with another one. Oh my God. Powers is pushing in on Speedy. Can Powers get that kill? No, he can't. He will go down. Speedy, a lot of good hammer burst shots here. Once again, the IGL detox with another M bar. He gets that secondary M bar on the map. The recap E. 200 and counting. Rise Nation are about to make this 6 5. They continue with this one. They're about to upset Ghost Gaming just one round away. There is one round, I think, right here for your life if you're Rise Nation. I know you got to lose two to lose map number two, but you don't want to see round 13. You don't want to see map don't, three. Yeah. You, if they see map three, it means they've lost two back to back here to end this, and that is demoralizing here. Rise Nation need to close it out and close it out now. Who's going to be the one to punch a hole through Ghost Gaming? Who's the weak link? Who's the, the aggressor? I want to see Detox more with that end bar. Fantastic stuff so far. Well, he's going to have Offset. to head over to the incinerator for that one. Colin, let's get into this. Oh, my God. A big team fight. This is going to be four to four, three to three for this drop shot because they put the drop shot in this first half B hill again. And it looks like Rise has it completely surrounded right now. They have the positioning. Identum's tricks and a big 1v1 over there at the incinerator. But that's for the end bar. And that is the last man on Ghost you want to have have that M-Bar in his hand. And that would be Identives moving and jiving. They get Identives down, so now Drix will win that M-Bar. Drix wins the M-Bar. What's going to go down over by the B? It's a trade out. Sleepy, Jerpy, Resic. Drix takes the M-Bar, and now he's got it in his control. But look at the downs. Resic and Sleepy are both down. Jerpy, he's going to go big. Losing blood. He's going to stand up. Then he taps himself up. He doesn't die. Torque bow shot misses. So now Jerp with the torque bow. He's going to try to get sleepy here. He grabs it for a second and gets the pick. My God. My oh, big boy. Goodness. Sleepy taken out by the talk there. Look at the score. Look at the hills. Rise Nation. Want to end this. Another right now, pick. Jerpy, you are absolutely out of this world. Taken down oh, two. Jerp. Rushy does answer back, and Rushy's knows what's on the line here. The experience needs to come through. Ghost Gaming need to grab this game by the scruff of his neck and run away with it. If not, Rise Nation are sending them home. It's two hills. It's 45 seconds. Powers finds the double. Detox pipe taking the weapons. And Vexies has the drop shot. And you know what? He's going to miss that one. Can he finalize? He doesn't need to. And Vexies finds another. They haven't got a point to their name. Are they going to end it right here? A big 1v1. It is going to be challenged, Colin. Again, the IGL, Speedy, all by himself, the leader of this team. He gets drunk. That'll be it, ladies and gentlemen. Rise Nation rises up to the occasion. Rise Nation, baby. 2-0, Ghost Gaming, and send them home. The upset nation, Rise Nation, finally takes out Ghost Gaming in an embarrassing fashion. 2-0, sending Ghost Gaming home here at the Columbus, Ohio Invitational. There's a few things I want to point out. Power dominated map one, but map two had Avexi's name all over it. Going in round 12, Avexi, his stat line, 37 kills, 17 downs, and only 20 deaths. He went absolutely big for this Rise Nation roster. Yeah, on that 5-5 five, five round, it was off screen, but we saw Avexi get three kills on the kill feed late in the round. Yeah. Avexi's pretty much uh, getting that fifth round for them, going up 6-5, and then Jerpy. We saw yes. the torque bow on that last round. Getting, I think, five kills out of, out of the five shots, or that, four kills out of the five shots. That, so that's that last second torque bow where he charged it for literally half a second. It was active. That, that was active one, of the best, one, one, one of the best torque bows I've ever seen. Yeah. It, it was kind of crazy, and as well, a big point for me was we obviously put a lot of emphasis on, you know, control room. Yeah. Uh, and it was kind of back and forth, and Ghost Game were winning, it, winning it, I'd say, 60% of the time. Yeah. But it, it was down low. Yeah. So down low, it was red in the kill feed time and time again. It was like, who wins up top? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Down low, Rise Nation were, were winning it, getting the incinerator control, getting the power weapons, uh, and then we saw what, you know, they could do with the likes of the M-Bar. And 
I, I couldn't see this coming a mile off. We, we actually caught it. Identums against Drix. We all saw what happened in that 1v1. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Drix downing Identums right there in the last round was key because that opened up the whole incinerator side of the map and allowed Rise Nation to really run free. And just a duo of having the Vexies and Drix right there together working together. That was it for me. I, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I casted game one, went to three maps. If I had to do three maps again, I would have struggled. <laughs> I would have been sounding like Colin by the end of it, and I don't mean the accent. Uh, but, the, but that was, what a game. Uh, and again, you know, we don't normally see a lot of upsets sometimes. Yeah. Uh, and to see this, you know, Rise Back Nation. to back. Yes, first Fire Knight, back first back. Simplicity. Wow. Yeah. You can't count anybody out. No. Like, we came to the desk, and you guys said, ghost, ghost, ghost. And I'm thinking, Fire Knight is making upsets. Maybe it's a single <laughs> elimination type bracket, and, and these players are feeling the pressure. Studio but Rise came to play. Yeah, 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 definitely. I say we turn this over to the MVP of that game, in my opinion, Fallout and Avexis. Thank you so much, guys. And, and I, I had the chills from that match. Words can't express what the crowd here is feeling. Of XTs, no one can define what you're feeling. I know that was personal for you. Tell me why. Because, uh, like, last event, we actually got embarrassed by them. They were playing with the coach. And uh, we actually still lost to them. And this is like, we know, we want to redeem ourselves. Like, you know what I mean? It, was, it sort of felt like a grudge match. You know what I mean? And uh, I can kindly say they're probably better than with the coach now. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> They're better with their coach, he says. Jerpy, talk to me about the plays he made that last round. Two Torpo kills helps you secure round number 12. Talk to me, break me through that last round. What happened? Uh, this is why we picked up Jeff. Like, he's literally one of the most composed players in the game. If y'all know like him, he literally has no emotion no matter what he does, good or bad. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's just why he's here. He does his work, does his thing. He's very, very consistent, and that's all we want. We're looking for consistency. And what is it with this Ghost Gaming squad? Why is it so personal? Is there any backstory there? Um, well, obviously, we Drix and King, they were on Ghost at one point, and uh, they, they they love them as you know, like friends and stuff, but in game, you know, we all hate them, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and I respect you guys literally look like you wanted to murder them, and then you get over and you, you shake hands. I definitely respect that. Um, Powers, the impact he made on your team, 35 kills and map number one, or maybe more than that he ended up with, absolutely pop popping off. Talk about his performance and the, the impact he makes for your squad. Um, first map, Jeff had 32, I think Powers had 35 or something like that, like you said, and they literally threw me in the overhead bin. I literally got put, put in the back tech. I was like, okay, <laughs> I took a good ride. But then I had to like step up because you know we start to give them momentum and I end up dropping 38. It was easy. That simple. And of course, I'm sure you're not complaining about being put in the backpack if it means winning that dub 2-0. -oh. You guys have Fury coming up next. It's gonna be a great one. I'm excited, especially based on the energy right there. That's gonna be it for us. Big shot to Avexis and Rise Nation. If you're a fan of